so students continuing with the previous module of the data access layer guidelines to avoid and minimize the mistakes and issues to give a higher performance deliver to the applicants to the users so in this module we will cover 10 of those guidelines so let's go ahead those guidelines so those 10 guidelines are listed before you on the screen starting from the batching to the validation so what i will do is i will go through some details about those guidelines and try to ensure that you understand the importance of all of those guidelines and when you ensure that these guidelines are observed you will be able to deliver high performance solution to your end users to your visitors so let's go ahead with those guidelines so batching now the batching the importance of batching is to reduce the latency now if the commands and the actions are grouped together then the execution time will reduce why because the turn around time will have to be only for those commands which are batched together instead of spending individual time on each of the individual commands so that will of course increase the performance and give a quick response without having to spend lot of money on a high performance hosting solution let's look at connections now these connections are still you have to create the connections you have to manage the connections and you have to close the connections remember that a web is a stateless environment and you have to be optimizing the connections right so as to give a good performance and of course uh, like all those ten aspects connections are also very important data format data format is important for interoperability data format includes the type of data the format of data and as the data is passed across different applications right how that data is going to be handled now if there is consistency in the data there will be less processing of that data among the different layers and among the different applications that is going to give a good performance now remember one thing always that one can use hardware to increase the performance but that is an expensive solution so the right approach is to be smart and use these techniques to give performance so i believe now you understand about the data format exception management now exceptions will happen exceptions it could be errors exceptions could be something is not handled exceptions could be across the trust boundaries exceptions could be at the different layers also now what should you be doing there should be a central exception handling management approach such that the exceptions are not thrown outside the data layer which we are discussing and not only the exceptions are handled properly but the exceptions should not be exposing the messages to the end user because that can compromise the security also and that does not reflects professionally on your work and remember one thing more that when you handle the exceptions the messages which are thrown at the users they should be intelligent they should be clear and they should be comprehensible also you have to give an experience to the user that the user is in control the user is not lost so that is why exception handling is very important queries and stored procedures now queries are used for many many operations uh, you use the query to make a request to retrieve the data uh, a query can delete the data also a query can be changing the data also so the queries are very critical to the performance of the system how they are critical to the performance of the system let me show you because you need to optimize optimize the query right and you optimize the query you will maximize what you will maximize you will maximize the performance okay and you will maximize the throughput also performance means 
that your queries will be running fast that is the performance and throughput means that in the given time you will be running more queries that is the throughput and how you can get this you need to maximize this and how it is maximized by optimizing the queries the query optimization is not part of this course you may have covered it uh, in a database course but you understand the impact and this impact is more profound in such an environment now stored procedures in the stored procedures traditionally stored procedures were used with reference to dynamic sql but now the stored procedures are in the context of modern database systems which are already high performance so you have to make a balance between the stored procedures and between the dynamic sql now one thing about object relational mapping is that the object oriented model there is a impedance mismatch with the relational model what is the impedance mismatch let me give you an example in the object oriented model there is encapsulation but in the relational model we make the tables public you understand what i'm saying so there is an impedance mismatch so need to consider the impedance mismatch in the context of object oriented and relational model about the uh, dynamic procedures and the dynamic sql i have already mentioned let me talk about the transactions what are transactions transactions are a collection of commands which are executed together which uh, make the contents of the database permanent and they are atomic it means that once they are executing they will go through and make the contents atomic permanent you understand what i'm saying that there is no inconsistency there is no integrity issue over there so transactions atomic make the state of the database permanent and if there is an issue there is something which is called as the rollback rollback will ensure that the consistency and the integrity is there and finally is the validation the validation could be at the database level it could be at the third party level it could be at the server level and validation ensures that whatever is going in your database that is checked that is correct and if the validation is done at the client side at the presentation layer at the browser level that will reduce the load on the server that's all i have in this module and in the next module i'll talk about the five considerations thank you very much